Habakkuk, let's go to Habakkuk chapter 2. Let's dive into the Word of God this morning. I don't know about you, but I need the Word of God in my life. <laughs> I need the Word of God in my life. And I need a gathering of the saints. A gathering of the saints. Just being in the same atmosphere where the saints are. Amen. Thank God for technology, but it ain't the same. Amen. I said it ain't the same. Amen. Being in the atmosphere where, where, where the believers can, can, can worship God and honor God and, and faith joins with faith and glory joins with glory. Amen. Anointed joins with anointed. And we create an atmosphere that is unique to this time. Yes. Unique. To, we can't we can't reproduce this. That's that's the problem between Hollywood and the church. The, the Hollywood is all staged. Uh -huh. The church is real, authentic, authentic, real. The essence of who God is shows up in our midst, and He comes whenever He wants to come. <laughs> moves and does what he does and, and just sits in our midst sometimes and for this we give him the praise amen hallelujah Habakkuk chapter 2 hey. Habakkuk chapter 2 we'll pray and get we'll pray and get into the word of God this morning Ah, thank you, Father. Father, we give you praise and we give you glory this morning. We thank you for all that you are doing. Thank you, Father, for your presence. Thank you for your word. Speak to our hearts, God. We bless you and praise you. Think through my vocal, think through my mind and speak through my vocal cords this morning. All of you and none of me give you the praise, the glory, the honor, and the adoration. Thank you for touching this, this body of believers, God. For showing up in our, in our praise, worship. We thank you for what you're doing. We bless you in advance. In Jesus' name. And everybody believe and said, Amen. Amen. All right. Back in chapter 2, we'll start in verse 1, walk our way down to verse 4. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables and he may run that readeth it for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. This morning, I want to talk to you, and I started this last week, about faith to live in the kingdom. Faith to live in the kingdom. Somebody just just look at somebody else and just say live. 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 There's, so, there's so much there's so much death around, so much death in the in, 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 around the news, so much death happening obviously in Ukraine and, and in Russia and all the all the other parts of the world that we just need to just prophesy and just say live in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Live, live, live. Now we have been talking about the kingdom for, for quite some time we, we really 
uh, proclaim that this year is the year of the kingdom, the, the year of the kingdom. We, we took our 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 theme from Matthew six thirty three, where the Bible says, "Seek first the kingdom and its righteousness, and whatever you need is simply added to you." Seek it first, what the kingdom? Somebody say the kingdom. Somebody look at your neighbor and say the kingdom. Somebody say it's not time to sleep; it's time to hear about the kingdom. Come on, come on, let your neighbor tell him it's time to hear about the kingdom. I, I, you follow the, the kingdom, the kingdom, the kingdom. Now, now understand this: the kingdom of God. The Bible says it's not in Romans fourteen and verse seventeen. It is not meat and drink, but it is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Are you following me now? The Bible will tell us in Mark chapter 4 verse 11 that unto you is given to know the mystery of the kingdom. Then Jesus says in Luke chapter 17 verse 21, it says, he says you would not say here it is or no there it goes. It says no, the kingdom of God is among you. Are you following me now? And we know, we know that the kingdom of God is God's reign, God's rule. It's where God has predominance. Are you following me now? It's where God has what? Predominance. Somebody look at your neighbor and tell him, Action is the kingdom of God having pre predominance in your life? I'll say it again. Is the kingdom of God having pre predominance in your life? Now, 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 now. The kingdom of God having predominance in your life. The kingdom of God reigning and ruling in your life. Other words, whatever God says is what I do. Are you following me now? Now, for some believers, that's not the case. They want to do what they want to do. They, 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 they subscribe to the anthem. It's my thing. I can do what I want to do. Can't nobody tell me what who to soccer to. And so and so and so as we dive into this book today, because I want to, I want to make, I want to make some traction here. Uh, the book is, uh, it is the thirty, the thirty fourth, the thirty fifth book in the Old Testament. It is uh, Habakkuk. Habakkuk is a minor prophet. He is a minor prophet not because he is uh, low in priority as it is the volume of his work is very little. And so he's a minor prophet. He really writes about three chapters. It's, it's, it's about 58 verses, uh, 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 14, 1400 words that are in his text. He writes the text and is somewhere around 665 BC. As he writes the text, he's writing, uh, and when we come into this book of Habakkuk, there is frustration. Frustration because uh, what he, he's seeing and the, and the God that he knows, there's a contradiction. Are you following me now? What he's seeing in the society that he's living in, and the God that he knows is the God that he knows to be good, uh, he's trying to understand and, and really grapple with why why is it that 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 these these evil people are doing well and the good people seem to be not doing so well. He grapples with the idea as in God, why is it taking so long for you to answer me? God, why all this commotion and injustice in the land? God, you see what I'm going through. You see the circumstances that we were facing right now. And, and you see the pain and, and you see the, the injustice in the land. When are you going to move? He's really criticizing the character of God. He's talking about, he now understand that this prophet is, for him to talk to God means that he has a relationship with God. And you follow me now. So he has a relationship with God. And we really don't know anything about Habakkuk. We don't know how old he is. We don't know where he's from. We, we, really, we don't know his upbringing. We only, we only meet Habakkuk in this text and in this text alone. We, we, have, no, we have no recollection. We, 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 we don't know if he was married. We don't know if he had children. We have nothing. We, we, we know that he is frustrated based on what we're reading. We, we know that he's, he's had it, he, he's fed up, so to speak. He, 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 he's, he's, he's at his wit's end, his back is against the wall, and the only person that he knows to blame is God. You ever been in that situation? Well, you, you look at your situation, you say, God, you see, you see what I'm going through. You see the pain that I'm in. You, 
you see, you see what's going on with me. You see my, you see my body. You, you see my job. You, you see my wife. You see myself. You see my kids. But, but, but why, why am I still, why am I still going through all this pain? Hmm? That is Habakkuk. He's talking to God. Now, now, he's talking to God, and then God speaks to Habakkuk. But the problem is. God, Habakkuk is talking to God about this particular situation and God is talking to Habakkuk about something totally different. Habakkuk says, God, what, how long are we going to have? How long do we, we find a breakthrough? God speaks to Habakkuk in, in Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 5. He says, I'm going to do something, something incredible, something, something, something that I've never done before. He says, I'm going to send the Babylonians to Judah to punish Judah. God, I thought, I'm praying for deliverance. And God said, no, you, ain't, you, you haven't seen anything yet. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Hmm? I, I'm praying, God, for you to open, my, open the door. But God says, no, it's not going to only be closed, but it's going to be closed longer than you expected. And I'm going to take somebody that you, that you feel uh, is not qualified and I'm going to put them over you. How do you like me then? Mm. I'm going to use the Babylonians. Now the Babylonians are not God's people. Mm. Are you following me now? Now this is before they were even they were obscure at this particular time. At this time, the Assyrians were the ones that were the superpower. The Assyrians were the superpower of the land. And nobody expected this puny Babylon to rise up and conquer the Assyrians. Nobody expected that. And so even 20 years before this particular time, God is speaking to this man called Habakkuk. He's telling him something that, that ordinarily people in the land do not want to hear. Hmm? Things like things like there's going to be there's going to be wars and rumors of wars. You know you don't you don't get a whole lot of shout and amen with that one. Pestilence is going to show up. Are you far famine is going to show up? Shortage is going to show up. Are you following me now? All you got to do is read the biblical text and it'll tell you exactly what's going to happen in your what's going to happen in the society that we find ourselves in. Are you following me now? And, and so and so when you look at this thing, this 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 prophet of God, he, he gets this message and he is he is he is perplexed and confused. Confused that God is using so 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 he goes to God and says this. He says, God, how? so so first of all, he asks God why? Why is this happening? Why is it that the people that are wicked seem to be doing very well? Why? Hmm? Oh, it was, it was, why, 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 God, do you, why are you allowing this to happen? Hmm? But the problem is that when God created the earth, you have to understand that the reason why God lets it happen is because you let it happen. I said the reason why God lets it happen. He said, "You said God, why can't you know God? Why, why am I in this particular uh, particular situation? Well, the reason why you're in this particular situation is because you allowed yourself or you made decisions. Are you following me? That allowed you to be in this place. Well, somebody said, well, well, well Pastor, my, my situation is not it, it, it really it's not a decision based as it is. I was born with this." How do you how do you you know how do you how do you grow, 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 how do you wrap your head around what well this is not I, this was not self inflicted this was what I was born with what the Bible says about this 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 man in, in John chapter nine that was born blind and the Bible says they came they come to Jesus and they said who sinned because hmm? everybody was you know when something wrong they want to point pinpoint somebody had to have sinned. His mama, him, who said? God says none of none of none of those, none of all those things are important. What's important is that the glory of God is being made manifest. 
So what am I saying? Well, even if you were born with this, you don't have to live with this. Why? Because the glory of God wants to be what? Made manifest in your life. So regardless of if, if, I'm, if, I, if I got it when I came here, or I came here and I got it, the glory of God still needs to be manifested in my life to see, for me to see my breakthrough. Now, when God made the earth, the Bible says one of the things, one of the things that he did was he gave man what? Dominion. So he gave us rule and reign. And you follow me then? Now, and so Habakkuk says, says he, he speaks to God and says, why are you allowing this to happen? The answer is because you allowed it to happen. It's like looking at your child and saying, why are you so sporty? <laughs> you get it next week. <laughs> you go, why are you, why are you so why are you so why are you so lazy? Oh you gotta just look at you. Huh? He lazy because you lazy. He lazy because you allowed him to be lazy. Are you following me now? In other words, he, he's it's only going they go only gonna reflect what you allow them to be. So God looks at the back and, and says, okay, okay, I'm about to take you through, not in the UAE, I'm about to take you, take you through something that you've never been before. Th th he says, and I'm going to allow, I'm going to send the Babylonians and they're going to punish you. Hmm? I'm going to use, other words, what am I saying? You keep trying to pick and choose how God's going to open a door in your life. Hmm? And God can use a pharaoh if he wants to. God can use a, a part of his wife if he wants to. God will use a jail to get you where you need to be. Are you following me now? God will use a red sheet to, 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 open, to open that door for you. No, 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 no. And so Habakkuk says, okay, okay, I understand, okay, I understand this, but why are you doing it this way? So first of all, why are, you do, why are you doing this, number one? Then why are you doing it this way? God, why are, you, why are you taking this way to deliver me? Why are you taking this long to deliver me? God, why, are you, why, is, it, why is it, why am I still facing this right now? That, this is the language Habakkuk is the same. Then the Bible would say to Habakkuk, he would say, Write the vision. Make it plain. So he that see it runs with it. Now, we have taken that scripture and we've taken it as if this glorious thing and we preach out of it. And every vision message, we, we grab this text. Are you following me now? And, 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 and I suggest this text. But we have to take the text within context. The vision is talking about is what he just showed him. That there's going to be disaster in the land. He says, write that vision down so folks can see what you, see what's about to happen. Now it won't come, it won't come for the next 20 years. The next 20 years. But however, the vision had been given. Are you following me now? The vision has been given. But the Bible says this. There's, 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 there's hope in this because the Bible says, because even though there is this destruction that is, that, is, that is there, for the believer, there is an exemption. And you follow me now. Just because there is, there is the plague in Egypt doesn't mean I got to suffer in Goshen. Just because there is a flood for 40 days and you thought non-stop doesn't mean that I need to swim in the ark. Hmm. Are you following me then? Just because there is fire coming down on Sodom and Gomorrah doesn't mean that my feet is going to be burned. Are you following me now? What am I saying? Every time there is destruction in the land, the righteous is always preserved. Amen. There's always a there's always a so so don't believe uh, for the don't believe for the uh, for the situation to affect your house. Believe for the exception. Yeah, believe for the breakthrough. B believe for the for the I'm, I'm not gonna go through this. 
Then he gives, then Habakkuk gives a profound, well, then God gives, God gives Habakkuk this profound message that, 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 that really, that echoes all throughout the New Testament. He says to Habakkuk, he says, he says, he says, the just shall live by his faith. The just. Now, now, nothing now in, the, in, the New, in the Old Testament, this is the only text that really talks about, that uses the word faith. Everything else is an, is an expression of faith. But this text really, really, Brings the and it's amazing how God will use this minor prophet. It, ain't it funny how God uses uses small people to say big things? He uses this minor prophet that if you would that and if I would if I would if I would have given a census before when I before I preached out of it last week and I'm and, and, and speak to them I'm given a census and I said hey, how many body how many people have heard a full message about Habakkuk I dare say that uh, 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 not, that ninety percent of the people in the body of Christ their hands will not come up are you following me then? But yet we've heard this the message of faith. But this minor prophet was what God used to birth that revelation that Paul gleans and grabs. And so Paul in, in Romans chapter 1, verse 17, says it. He says, the just, he says, the just shall live by faith. Hmm? Then he goes in Galatians 3 and verse 11, and he says, the just shall live by faith. Then he goes to Habakkuk chapter 10 and verse 38. He says, he says, the just shall live by faith. And so, we're going to talk about faith to live in the kingdom. Faith. Because if I'm going to live in the kingdom, I need to do it by faith. Now, now let's, let's first of all bring definition as to what this faith is. Then we're going to talk about why faith. Why faith is so important. Because if I need to know first of all what it is, then I have to know why is it important. Then I need to know how to get faith. Are you following me now? And how to use faith. And so, and so, and so, what is faith? Because when, when I say, when I say faith, I'm not talking about your religious denomination. Somebody say, well, what faith are you? You remember that? When people ask you, well, what faith are you? Then somebody say, well, I'm Catholic. Catholic. I'm Protestant. I'm Church of God in Christ. I, I'm Methodist. Huh? I'm Baptist. I'm Christ. I'm, you know, I, I'm Lutheran. Are you following me now? No, no. That, that's not what we're talking about. When we're talking about faith, when, 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 when God uses faith here, is talking about, about seeing it the way God sees it. The just shall live by, 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 by seeing it the way God sees it. In other words, if you're going to live by faith, you've got to see it, not the way your emotion sees it, not the way your culture sees it, but you have to see the way God sees it. And so now, what is faith? What is faith? Now, 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 let's go to the, let's go to um, an expression. Let's go to the uh, Hebrews 11. And let's pick up an expression of what, what faith is. It is not the full definition. Some have said, well, this is, this is the definition of faith. Well, it's an expression of faith. It, it's not... The, it's not it's not a definition of faith. It's an expression of it. What am I saying? It's like saying God is love. Well, that's not all that God is. It's an expression of who God is. Oh, you say, oh, you, oh, you say God is faithful. Well, well, yeah, He is, but He's also love. Hmm? But it's also, uh, but but it's also uh, unexplainable. Also, okay, okay. He He was in love with me. Y'all work with me now. Hebrews 11. And let, we're going to, um, we're really going to start in, in chapter 10 because I want you to see 
how Habakkuk, how Habakkuk connects, or how Paul, or how the Hebrew writer, some have suggested that the Hebrew writer is not Paul, um, and, and so there's ascribe it to a, a, a Paulus, uh, which is which is fine, but he's the Hebrew writer. Let's let's um, let, let's 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 start off in verse 35. Walk our way down to verse 11 as we get an expression of what this definition of, 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 what, of what faith is, an expression of what faith is. Now, notice what it says in verse 35. It says, cast not away, I'm reading out of the King James Version, it says, cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of what? Reward. Cast not away, your confidence or your expectation, which has great recompense of reward, for you have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, you might do what? Receive the promise. Now, let me just interject this here. That there is a process of faith. Uh, what am I saying? Because many times people, people think that, well, this is, and let me just say this, this is not magic. The Bible calls this the mystery of faith. The mystery of faith that, that operates in a pure conscience. So you can't be trying to bootleg a situation or dishonoring God and faith will work and put faith work in your life. Are you following me? You, you can't you, you can't you can't you, you can't you can't uh, 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 be you know uh, dishonor God and faith work in your life. No, you have to have your faith operates uh, by way of a pure conscience. Now, now, and we'll see, we'll see more of that of, of that scripture here. Now, um, notice it says you have need of patience, and after you have done the will of God, what does that mean? It means it means it means that 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 that, that you would that, that sometimes it's not I believe today, and when I see I see the breakthrough tomorrow. Sometimes there's a process of time. And just because you've done the will of God doesn't mean doesn't mean the answer is not in your is the answer is not in your life. It just means that you have to wait, you have to employ patience. 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 The Bible talks about uh, in um, uh, in this same Hebrews and verse six in, in, in chapter six. And verse um, and, and verse we we'll look at verse uh, verse 12, 12, verse twelve. So go, go to Hebrews six verse twelve. It says, "Be not so, be not slothful, but followers." Slothful means lazy, slow. Be not slothful for what? But followers of them, for, folks. We you can't afford. First of all, let me say this: you can't afford to put it all up on God. I like this man that we're reading, Habakkuk, because Habakkuk at least has the response. He, he has a responsibility, and it takes a response. He takes he takes at least what he's what he believes to God. He believes that he has something to do with what's going on, and that he can change what's going on. And so he takes that to God. Some of us we, we have no we we're so um. It's almost as if we 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 we, we, we jump into this well. I gotta be lucky, or oh, I, you know, I gotta, you know, I'm not lucky. This so that's why I'm not going, uh, you know, or or, or, or or what will be will be, or or it's, it's somebody else's fault. There is no responsibility on your part. In other words, if you, if God's gonna do something in your life, He's already, He's already said He's gonna do it. But you have to understand that you have a responsibility. To, uh, to partner with God to see the incredible things happen in your life. He says, Josh, he says to Joshua, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you ought to meditate on it day and night, day and night, day and night. Observe to do what is written therein. It says, then you will make your way prosperous. Notice what he did not say. He did not say, then I will make your way prosperous. Hmm? He says, then you'll make your way prosperous. And then you have good success. 
And you follow me then? There's a responsibility for you to do well. Amen. Are you following? There's a responsibility for you to make acute, accurate, concise decisions. Are you following me then? Then it says in in uh, in, uh, in, in, in in Psalm one, it says, "Blessed is the man that does what that walketh not after the counsel of the ungodly." Nor stand in the way of sinners. Nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in the Lord does he meditate day and night. He shall. No, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's, he, he's given. There's a responsibility on your part. The, the problem is we want breakthrough. But we don't want to meditate day and night. We want to watch TV day and night. <laughs> then, we, then we say, God, God, how come I haven't received the breakthrough? Well, you haven't met the requirements. Mm. It's in the book. If you think breakthrough is just going to fall easy. Mm. Are you, 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 for, what, what do I say? We say, well, 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 well Pastor, how come, how come, I'm, how, how come I'm, 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 I'm in the job that I'm in? Well, well you, 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 you've never looked for another job. You never look for another job. You, 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 you allow them to abuse you, use you, 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 misuse you. Are you following me? Then you go home and you sit down and you complain about how it, how it did that day. It's going to go home and then I'll be a feel to, to, to polish your resume and go look for another job. Mm-hmm. Your, I mean, are you following me now? Notice what it says. It says, it, it says, it says he shall be like a tree, talking about the rivers of water. He says, who's, he says, who, 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 who's, who's, let, let, let's go there, let's go there, I want you to see, I want you to see, I want you to see, hold your place, hold your place here in Hebrew, chapter 6, and let's go there, I want you to just see this, because notice what it says, the judge shall do what? The judge shall do what? The judge shall do what? Live by what? His! Not your mama faith. His faith. So my question is, how's your faith? How is your faith? Hmm? How is your faith? Not not your mama's faith. How is not your pastor's faith? Not not your cousin's faith. How is your faith? Hmm? Do you do you do you even know you have faith? Because. When, 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 whenever you saw Jesus, Jesus used faith like a mechanic will use a wrench on purpose. He would look at a girl and say, without guessing, without go come back, daughter, Talika Kumi, I say, why would he say it like that? Why would he say, I say? Oh, he would he would get up and there's a storm. And he would look at it, he would look at the storm and he would say, Peace. Why would he why would he use languages like that? Why would he why would he express words? Oh, or he, or he would look like he would look at a tree and he would say, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And walk I mean, what could you could is it is it possible that he is Doing something on purpose, not by happenstance. The problem with us is we we we, 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 we know about faith, but we don't know how to operate in faith. We we have a head knowledge on faith, but but faith don't work in your head. I say faith don't work in your head. Are you following me? Don't, we don't work in your head. Okay, 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 uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, okay, okay. Notice, notice songs. I want you to see this. I want you to see this because there's a responsibility for you to live by faith. Notice what, what, notice what we said. We said faith to live in the kingdom. To live in the kingdom. And then another, okay. Another, another, a, a definition or a, 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 an expression of faith. One of the expressions that I picked up is it, it, faith is the currency of heaven. Hmm. Faith is the currency of It's how you do business with heaven. Are you following me now? It's how you conduct transaction. Okay, 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 okay. 
Jesus looks at, he looks at this woman and he says, notice what he says to this woman, the woman that had an issue of blood. She had been bowed over for almost, for almost, for, for, she, she, well, she had been in afflicted for almost 12 years. Did not get better, but the Bible says she got worse. But she heard something. She heard Jesus was a healer. Ah. That he will turn your situation around. Now let me let me just let me just let me just let me just put let me just put something right right right. Let me just interject something right there. Faith can go no higher than what you hear. Your faith can go no higher than what you hear. If you want your faith to increase, you've got to hear more on it. Are you following me now? Now let me say let me say another thing. The faith of the thing is in the thing that is being preached. If I preach on healing, the faith to heal is in that word. If I preach on prosperity, the faith to prosper is in that word. Are you following me? If I preach on success, the praise, the faith to succeed is in that word. The Bible says this way in Ezekiel 2, verse 2. It says, this, it says, the Spirit entered into me when he spake into me. What am I saying? The spirit of it is in it. The spirit of faith. Okay, okay. Notice. L l let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the council. This is Psalm 1. And in, in the council of the ungodly. Blessed is the man that, 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 that does what? That worketh not. Now, who, who, who is the one that doesn't work? It's the man. Amen. It's not, it's not his cousin, it's not his mama. You, you have to decide, I'm not going to walk in the counsel of the ungodly. I'm not going to stand in the way of sin. The problem is, we keep, st we keep standing right in the center. Well, I'm in church one, one Sunday, or I, I'm in the water next Sunday. We keep standing in the middle. No, you got you to gotta pick a side and stay in that side. Or else you get run over. Yeah, you get run over. Pick a side. If you're going to be saved, be saved. If you're going to be a sinner, dear God, be a good sinner. <laughs> yeah, I, it ain't, no point, no, ain't no point in sinning on, on Saturday and crying on Sunday. Yeah, if I'm going to be a sinner, I got to be a good sinner. Shoot. The devil will call me when I praise God for that guy, man. Are you following me? I, you you got to be a good one. But if you're going to be saved, be a good one. Be a good one. Amen. Not saying you're gonna have it all together, but be a good one. Let your heart, let your heart be in sync with God. Are you following me now? Now I'm a God lover, regardless of what's going on in my life. I'm gonna love God. Amen. You're never gonna see me pointing my hand up, my hand up to God and say, God, it's you is because of you. No, my hand, if my hand is if my hand is I to lift it up, it's lifted up in praise and gratitude about what God has already done. Because the truth is, what he has done for you is more than what he will ever do for you. Amen. Are you following me then? Now. Notice what it says. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Whose delight? The believers. The say the, the, the just. The righteous, his delight is in the law of the Lord. It says, and in his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree, what? Planted by the rivers of water. Now the rivers of water is it, it, the word. Notice what, notice what Jesus said. Jesus looked at that, at that woman at the well and says, if you knew who was, who was talking to you, you would ask him and he would do what? He would give you what? Living water. And we know Jesus is the word. So what is it saying? It says, it, it says here, it's, he said, he said, he, he says, he planted by you gotta stay in the word. You gotta stay in the word. Um, and, and we hear that, and we and the, the problem is we hear that and we say amen, but we don't do that. We go home and we, we're in everything else, we're in everybody else's business, everybody else's situation, everybody else's problem, including ours, but we never get in the word. You gotta get in the word. Are you following me now? Okay. Okay. It says this. His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. Meditate what? Day and night. Meditate what? Day and night. Sometimes. Day and night. Sometimes. Day and night. When you're in trouble. Day and night. Day and night. It means you, 
you gotta look at this car day and night. So tomorrow what happens? You're gonna have day and you're gonna have night. Mm -hmm. The next day you're gonna have what day and you're gonna have night. Next week you're gonna have what day and you're gonna are you this is this is what am I saying? This is a continue you're doing this continually. Continually. It's not a one-time shotgun kind of thing. Well, I'm gonna just use my face bang. No, this is you're continually in this thing. I'm gonna just, okay, okay, I'm in trouble now. I'm gonna just, faith is not a parachute to cause you to, for you to pull out, of, for you to pull or to put on your back, jump out the plane when your, when your plane, the flight is going down. That's not what faith is. Are you following me now? Now I got cancer, now I got to use my faith. What, what, what were you doing, what were you doing ever since? Are you wrong? That's the mindset of the believer. Okay, now I got five. Now I got to use my faith. Yeah, God, you should have been using your faith all along. Amen. Are you following me now? Okay, okay. Notice what it says. It says, He shall feel like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth what? His. his fruit. Notice, it's his faith, his fruit, in his season. His leaves shall also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth, he doeth shall do what? Wow, prosper. <clears throat> now the question is, is this scripture true? Lord. Are you following me now? If the scripture is true, then if I do it, I gotta prosper. Lord. Ain't no way I can do this and not prosper. If I do this and not prosper, it makes him a liar. Mm -hmm. So I got to take inventory. If I'm not prospering, it means I'm not doing this. Uh oh, don't shut me down. I'm twitching real good. Are you following? If I'm not prospering, it means I'm not doing this. Then I got to ask myself, why? What has a lot now when, you, when we say do this? Notice it says dear, dear night. Dear night means what? Time. Time. So, you gotta, so all you got to do is look at, look at one day of your life and, and take an inventory. How do I use my time? Am I on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, uh, 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 Twitter, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, whatever else is out there? Huh? And I'm not in the Word of God. Now if I see, if I look at that and say, I see all that's happening, well, that's the reason why I'm not prospering. I'm not doing the day and night portion of it. I'm not meditating. Are you following me now? Okay, okay, okay. So, so the reason why you need to meditate, because somebody said, well, Pastor, how does that relate to, to the word to faith? The reason why you want to meditate on the word of God is because faith stops at the question mark. Your faith stops where? At the question mark. So when you don't notice, 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 notice. The, the Bible says in, in Matthew chapter 8, the man says, says, he says, he says, he comes to Jesus. This, this man that was sincere. He's, he, he's, he's, he, he's full of leprosy. He's sincere. Sincere. He has a heart for God. Hmm? But he looks at Jesus and he says this. He says, he says, he says, he says, Lord, if you are willing. Do you hear that? Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. What, 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 what did we just hear? What, what, what did we just hear? Well, you just heard what he doesn't know. He said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me heal. You can make me whole. You just heard what he doesn't know. He does not know that God is willing. Because if he knew that, he would have been clean yesterday. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I said the reason why you're still in it is because you don't know. If you know that, you be you 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 would have experienced your breakthrough three months ago, four months ago. So are you following me now? The reason why you're still coming to God is because you don't know if it's God's will. As long as you don't know it's God's will, then you're not going to receive the full blessings of God in your life. Amen. Otherwise, you don't know it's God's will that you don't have to 
Uh, you know, you don't have to live with that sickness and disease. Or you don't have to live from paycheck to paycheck. Some people don't even understand what that what that feels like. Or, or, you, or, 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 or you don't have to. You don't. You know. You can actually. You can actually. You can actually drive a car that you enjoy. You can actually have more than one shirt of the same color. You can actually have more of the same pair of shoes of this. Are you, are you from the same pair of shoes? Are you, are you, are you, some people don't even understand that that exists. You can actually go to the to, to a restaurant and, and, and order dessert when you're done. Some people don't even exist in their mind. You, there's actually other clothes more than more, more than more than the Clarence area. Are you fine? So, so because it's not even in your mind that you don't even reach for it or believe for it because it's not even it's not even there you, that you can actually have liquid liquid cash like ten thousand and, and twenty thousand in your bank account and, and thirty thousand and forty thousand in your bank just sitting there. That it is possible. Some people don't even, it's not even in their brain. That like when, they, when they get their, when they get their check, it's like they got a hot check. They got to spend it all. They got to run to the bank and, and cash it all and, and, and they in the mall and, and before night's fall, I mean, the, 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 the ink of the check ain't even dry yet and they don't spend everything. No, God, let me go, no, 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 I know it's true. I know it's true. He didn't even try it. He didn't spend everything. They said there was a, there was a, that there was a study done that, that the, the average money resides, the average money that resides in the African community resides in the African community just less than a day. Less than a day we've given out to somebody else. Less than a day. To be to be more specific, six hours. Why? Because we get the, we get that hot check we never see we never had money before, and so because we never had it before, we gotta spend it. Don't know you gotta sow it, you gotta save it, you gotta invest it. Then yeah, spend some, but 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 but, but take care of those areas first. And you follow me now. And so and so Habakkuk is taking responsibility based on what he's going through, but he's but he's but he's he's accusing the wrong person. He says, God, why you why you why why are you why is it why is it taking so long, God? And why are you doing it this way? Why is it taking why is it taking so long and, and why are you gonna do it this way? God said the judge shall live by faith, son. You better go sit down somewhere. You don't know you don't know what I'm talking about. The judge shall live by faith. You're not living by time, you're living by faith. Are you following me? The, 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 the issue of faith is everybody, everybody has the same, everybody's given the same faith. The same measure of faith. Every single individual. And you follow me now. So you don't have, you know, when you got saved, you don't have, you don't have, God didn't give you more than he gave somebody else. He's dealt, okay, let's go there, 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 let's go there. Let's go there. He, let, Romans 12, Romans 12, Romans 12. Let me do this very quickly. I know I'm still plowing, I, cause, cause, I, you know, because, because it feels like, it feels like, um, you know, we, we definitely we need we need more teaching on faith, and, and, and I'm glad that as I, as, as God directed me to start preaching this, I begin to hear others begin to say we got we got to talk about faith, talk about faith. Okay, okay, okay. Romans Romans twelve Romans twelve. Notice what it says in verse. Uh, we we'll start in verse. Um, hmm. Let's start in verse. Let's start in verse one. I really, I really after verse three, but let's start in verse one, so so we can just get get just 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 for reading's sake. I beseech thee, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, a living sacrifice. What a living sacrifice! 
you present your bodies with a living sacrifice. It says, holy, acceptable unto God, which is what? Your reasonable service. Otherwise, you ought to do this. It's not, you know, you come into church, you worship in God, this is your reasonable service. This ought to be done. Amen. You follow me now? Then it says, be not conformed to this world. Don't, don't look like them, talk like them, fashion like them. You follow me now? At the same time, you don't have to look like grandma, grandma either. Are you following me now? You don't have to look like grandma. Amen. Or like an old man. Enjoy. Are you following? Enjoy your youth. Amen. Enjoy where you are. Whatever stage you are. Well, I mean, do what you got to do to keep it, keep it fresh. Amen. Are you following me? The problem is, you know, many of us were, were, too, were too predictable. There's no spontaneity in our relationship or even in your life. They can set their clock and like clockwork, you do the same thing. Are you following? And so there is no, I mean, spice it up a little bit. Get a, get a new haircut. Do something. Do something to change, change something. Are you following me now? People are living, and you've been blessed to, to still be living. Stop, stop living and dying all at the same time. Mm. You're alive, but you're dead. Might as well call you Ding Dong. <laughs> are you following me now? Because there's no, nothing, nothing, there's no new ideas, no new ventures. There's nothing new comes out of you. It's the same old, same old. Complaining from sun up to sun down. Nothing good happens. Are you following? What, what am I? I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep it fresh. Spice it up a little bit. Amen. Hold his hands a little. Are you following me now? Okay, let me let me tell him. Take it somewhere else. Are you? Are you? I mean, are you following me now? Amen. Do go to the bathroom. Do something. Amen. Go to the kitchen. Do something. Change it up a little bit. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, notice what it says. It says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Renew your mind. Let your mind be renewed. Let, okay, why don't we, you know, you know, why don't why don't we do it this way? Why is it why we gotta do it that way? You know, when I was growing up as a, as a young minister, I did not, I did not find myself preaching like this. I'll be excommunicated. I'll be reprimanded. Are you following me now? And not saying that, that that my pastor was going through it, but just the the, the the vein that we're in did not even suggest I could do I could wear some, such a clothing and preach at the same time. Not in the main church, maybe in youth service. Change it up a little bit. Amen. Now, if that's your flow, that's your flow. But just you do something. Are you following me now? Change something. Now, 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 now. Notice what it says. It says, For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you. Now, you, you remember back in the day, women can't wear pants. You don't know what I'm saying? So even, even till today, some women came in different denominations that couldn't wear pants. Let's are you follow me now. If that's if that's what you subscribe to, I mean, cool on the game. That's not what you subscribe to. At the same time, don't throw rocks at the door. Don't throw rocks at those that do. Are you follow me now? Change it up a little bit. Amen. You can put, put pants on and find out why I like pants, or you can put the skirts on and say I like skirts. Now, this is if you're you know a woman, you know. <laughs> I gotta clarify. Come on, I like, I like I like skirts as a man. You know, you just need to get delivered, amen. 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 And you're not Scottish. You're not. A, you're not from. You know, it's not a skill. It's just what they call it. Kill, kill. What? A kill. A kill. It's not a kill, amen. Praise God, amen. This is a skirt. No, amen. Even that, I, you ain't gonna find me no skill. I, you ain't never gonna find me no skill. <laughs> that is not gonna happen, amen. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. It says, For I say through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought. But it did not say you ought to think of yourself lowly either. Amen. 
I'm going to show you how you ought to hold your head up high wherever you go. Now, if you're walking in integrity, you can do that. It's when you got something in the back of the corner of the booth that you got to put your head down. Put your head up. Put your head up. Are you following me now? Put your back straight and walk like, like you, like you, like you, like, like who God has made you to be. Because you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You're not better than anybody else, and nobody's better than you. Are you following me now? You are a child of the Most High God. Greater is he that is on the inside of you than he that is in the world. Are you following me now? What am I saying? I'm saying that you ought not think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but you ought to think high. Lord. Yeah, you ought to think high. Notice. You notice, notice. It says, but the things soberly, according as God has dealt to every man, what? The measure of faith. Now, if God, if God deals, like, you know, the measure of faith, otherwise, there's a faith, there's a faith deck, and God deals everyone the same. It's like playing the game of Uno. You get seven cards, I get seven. It's the same seven. But those seven cards are my cards. There are seven cards that is my cards for me to play in the game of life. Faith is given to a believer to, 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 to play in the game of life. It's really given, it's really given to, to a believer to, to, change, to change the possibilities of, of your life. Faith is not given for you to do what you can do. Faith is given for you to do the impossibles in your life. The reason why you do the impossibles, the impossibilities with faith, is because in actuality, it's his deck. Okay, you missed that. It's his. The reason why you can do the, the impossibles with faith is because it's his deck. But he's giving you your hand. Okay. What am I saying? If I take this whole paper, this whole paper, and I fold it in four, right? And I tear it, and I give you a piece. In my hand is paper, and in your hand is still paper. Are you following me now? But because it comes from me, there's an essence on this paper. My DNA is on this paper. Are you following me now? What I touch, my impression is on this paper. As a result, when I give you this paper, you don't only have this paper, but you, only, you also have a part of me. So when God gave you faith, it's not only, it's not just your faith is also his faith. And because it's his faith, there is divine properties in there. Divine properties. What does that mean? Things that, that, that cause you to act like God. When they looked at Jesus and said this, they said, what kind of man is this? What, 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 are, they, what are they saying? Divine properties. What kind of man is this? That even the, 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 the rain and the sea obey him. When they saw, when they saw, now this is Jesus. When they saw Peter, James, and John, they said, they said, they, they said, the gods have come down and not from man. Then when they saw Peter in, in, in Acts 14, they said, who are these men? that turn our world upside down. What am I saying? Divine properties. It didn't stop with Jesus. Peter, Peter, would look, Peter would look at a woman that was dead, Dorcas, and would say, Dorcas, in the name of Jesus, rise up. And Dorcas, and then Dorcas got up. Huh? The same faith 
that Jesus used, Peter is now using. So much so that the Bible says that Peter would look at he would look at Ananias and Sapphira, and he would say, "He was I will." I, okay, you not get I, I will. He would say, "How is it that you that you lie to the Holy Ghost?" The same the same people that just buried your husband. Now maybe the husband stuff. Maybe that was just a fluke. Maybe that, that he just died because he had a heart, a heart attack. Maybe, 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 maybe because he just had a heart. Maybe because he was stressed out, the man died. Maybe, okay, I'll give you that. But the woman came. The woman, his wife comes three hours after his the husband died without knowing. Well, he came to the eight o'clock service. <laughs> huh? And got judgment on him, and he died. The woman showed up at the eleven o'clock service because you know how women, you know, they come, you know. They come, they come later. And, 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 and so he shows up, she shows up, and he says this. The same people that just finished burying your husband, they're going to bury you too. Hmm. Woman, all, I mean, all cute. As I'll get out, because she's going to church. Got a church hat on. Are you following me? Church clothes on. She didn't, she didn't, she did not come to die. Are you following me now? But Peter says, hey, because you lied, how is it that you think you're going to lie about the Holy Ghost? Lie to the Holy Ghost? The same people that just buried your husband is going to bury you too. The Bible says she fell down dead. Okay. We can use it faith for things that money can buy. And that's not what it was meant for. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll bring those things. Yeah, but you have a no concept of faith. There was this man, there was this man, uh, 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 our, our bishop, Idahosa, and, 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 and this man of God, and they were giving him, they were giving him a hard time. They were trying to build a building and they were giving him a hard time, if I can remember the story right. And the official began to give him a hard time, and he looked at him and says this. He says this, in two days you're fired walks away. In two days, it was fine. Then another 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 time, one another time there was this there was this there was this uh, young know, this this person that was you know uh, uh, opposing as to be one some kind of occultic leader. And he and he, he and he comes on, on on the air and he says he says in seven days you're dead. The message, the, the, the message, you don't have the authority, you know. He says, he says, I have the authority. Jesus doesn't have to come down. I'm here. I have the authority. In seven days, you're dead. That same leader will come begging him for him to live. What am I saying? I'm saying that we're, we're, we're using faith on a low level. Low level. We need to come up higher. That faith is more Faith is more than just, it just you know, getting Nike shoes. More than all those things. It's how you live. How you live. That you, that, 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 that you begin to command things. The Bible says, the Bible says, command the morning. Are you following me now? You begin to, come, you begin to, to command things to come. Take authority over the, the spiritual realms. Bind the loose. That's what Jesus talked about. The kingdom. Whatever you bind on earth. Isn't that what he talked about? He ain't talking about, he ain't talking about Jesus. Are you following me now? He's talking about big stuff. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in the heavens. Whatever you loose on earth, what? Is loose to that. Is, is loose to heaven. Faith to live in the kingdom. Did y'all get anything out of this? Amen. Well, somebody give God praise and give God glory. Come on, come on. Give God praise and give God glory. Let's stand to our feet.
Father, we love you today. We give you praise and glory. We thank you for what you have done. We bless you for your presence and your goodness. We honor you. We praise you. Have your way, Holy Spirit, in our lives. Turn situations around. Cause our faith to come alive. Whatever, whatever situation we're facing in, regardless of how long we're facing it. The man that was at an issue for almost 38 years. So it's never too, never too late for God to do something new. Woman had an issue for 18 years. God turned her, her situation around like a dream of the night. You hear the names of Pastor this certain things in my life that I believe in God for. Well, I want to set my faith in agreement with you today. That's you today and say, Pastor, I just need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need God. I need to see this situation turn around in my life. I've been in this for far too long. That's you today. Just wave your hand, wave it high, and put it down. I see those hands all over the building. In the name of Jesus. Father, bring breakthrough, God. Breakthrough, God. You told me that you want to that breakthrough is going to happen this for this service. Breakthroughs are going to happen this service. Even before I knew about the song, breakthrough is going to happen this service. And so in the name of Jesus. As a conduit, a messenger, a servant of God, a mouthpiece, one of the mouthpieces of God on the earth today. I speak breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough in your body. Breakthrough in your mind. Breakthrough in your soul. Breakthrough in your body. Breakthrough in your finances. Breakthrough in your career. Breakthrough in your, in your relationships. Breakthrough in your physical body. I speak breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough in every relationship that you're connected to. In the name of Jesus. Breakthrough with your children. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you and we honor you tonight, today, and we love you for all that you are doing, and, and we praise you for it in Jesus' name. Well, somebody give God praise. Come on, give God praise. Come on, give God praise. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Father, we love you. We give you praise, glory, honor in Jesus' name. Somebody said. Thank God. Amen. You may be seated. Real quickly, in this atmosphere of worship, you want to sow into what God is given to it. Go ahead and get your offering envelopes. Those of us that have already sold with our phones or sold online, just pick your phone up. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Amen. Thank you so very much for your past, your present, and your future giving. You are helping to make it happen. Amen, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a blessing. What a blessing. Those of us online, you can give on, um, give by way of um, the website, credenceGA.org. CredenceGA.org. Those of us that are here, just follow the, um, follow the, the prompts. Amen. Follow the prompts. Amen, amen. Praise God, go to give and I sow what sow into the kingdom of God, and the Lord will bless you for it. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, for those of us online, go ahead and do that. God bless you. Thank you so very much for tuning in. We speak God's goodness, God's blessing over you. We thank you for tuning in on today. And uh, we just pray that God will reach and bless you. And, uh, and uh, I do want to invite you to those of us that are local. 
We have our Easter services happening, um, happening uh, April the 17th. Amen. And so you are invited. Uh, we have gas giveaways that's going to happen. So you are invited to worship with us. We are here at 21, 28, 21, Chastain Meadows, uh, Marietta, uh, Georgia, Meadows, Chastain Meadows Parkway, Marietta, Georgia, and just believe God will do something awesome and miraculous on that day. Amen. Well, uh, you're blessed and you are dismissed. God bless you. Amen. Praise God.